So I want to start out and just have everybody take a quick visualization. I want everybody to picture a Republican, just in your mind, like a person. Okay, now I'm going to guess what you're picturing. I'm going to guess that this person who you're picturing is white, probably a male, and a little older, right? Well, I am Taylor Bryant, and I am a Republican. And this is kind of the point. Um, I started my political career when I was just 13 years old in 2006, 2016, which was an interesting year to become political. Since then, I have been the president of the Bloomington High School Republicans since my freshman year. And I was just asked this year to become our political director for the Monroe County Republican Party, which I am the youngest political director in Monroe County history. That is also the point. It is now the time where the youth are stepping into politics. And not only are they beginning to get involved, but they are beginning to adapt their parties. Young Republicans have adapted three major things within the Republican Party. Not just these three major things, but three major things. Climate change, gay marriage, and the legalization of marijuana. Number one, climate change is real. Number two, it is not up to a political party to decide who you can and cannot marry. And number three, marijuana has many good purposes. It is also a belief, and these adaptations are shown through what I call the political spectrum. Political identification is not just a hardline Republican or Democrat, but it's a spectrum from red to blue with purple in between. Our everyday Americans are typically purple. Whether they are purple with strong hints of red or strong hints of blue, they're purple. However, our politicians that are representing us and our government are typically you know, bright red, like my jacket, or bright blue. And so this is a problem. Americans are no longer being represented by their government officials, and it is causing a deepened polarization. It has also been my observations with previous generations that each generation has, like, has called what I say a thing. The pre-baby boom generation, our great-grandparents' generation, tends to be racism, since they grew up during segregation and that type of thing. Our grandparents' generation, or the baby boom generation's thing tends to be homophobia. And our parents' generation, post-baby boom, tends to be a political divide as their thing. And we're seeing this political divide come into the millennials and start to bleed into our generation, my generation, which is completely avoidable. And here's why. Americans agree 90% of the time, but it is the 10% that they don't that hold what I call hot button issues such as abortion. And this idea is best represented in our state house. There are about 2,000 bills that get passed each session. And within those 2,000 bills, there's anything ranging from a bridge in Terre Haute to fixing roads in Gary. Um, but th then that represents the 90%. But the 10% is represented in what they call the top five priority bills. And those include like the hate crimes legislation. And those top five bills get the most time on the floor with debate. They spend the most time in the newspaper. And that's what everybody hears. They don't hear about the other 2,000 bills that were passed pretty much unanimously. So within those five bills, that is where the political polarization comes from. And this is not just the Indiana State House. Most state houses you know, across the country work this way as well, and even our federal government. All of this was just a very long-winded way of getting to my call to action. I call on all of you to look past that 10%, focus on the 90, to reach out to each other on a human level rather than a political one, to get educated, to get involved, and then to, and then to stay active. Because if we don't, that 10% becomes 20 and 30 and so on. And this political polarization deepens, and we cannot afford that. Our generation cannot afford to be any more divided than what we are, and we cannot afford for our generation's thing to be this political polarization. So get educated, get involved, and stay active. Thank you.